Hey all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to The Long Road Ahead. Now, remember of course yesterday I actually uh, played this game, um, which was, you know, interesting. It was an interesting concept for a little horror game, mainly because of the art style. Now, of course in my first video, not a lot actually happened, we just got through the basic sort of story, there weren't really any jump scares or anything like that. And I did, you know, mention that I felt like there was something perhaps in terms of other choices that I could have made that maybe would have led to something a bit more horrifying. And um, at the end of that video I said, you know, I'm not going to uh, play it again, I'm just going to leave it and if you want to see you can all download it, but I'm going to be honest, curiosity got the better of me. And I felt like I have to go back and just take a look and just see, maybe is there something I missed there? So. Without further ado, we're going to throw ourselves back in. Now, we know, of course, uh, the various controls. Yep, we know how this works. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, once again, of course, we get the same old dialogue from Ying and Liang. Ugh, why can't we just meet them early tomorrow morning? It's really dangerous to drive to your parents' place this late at night. We promised we would be there for my mother's birthday, ah. Huh? And we would have been able to make it much earlier if I didn't have to work overtime. Also, we wouldn't need to travel so uncomfortably on this bike if the car didn't break down on us this morning. Not to worry though, I know a shortcut that can get us there much faster. So off we go to the road. Okay, petrol station, this was the first area. Yes, we remember this, don't we everybody? Okay. So, the idea here is that you just fill up the motorbike. I'm just going to skip through this dialogue because you know, there's no real point in me reading now again. Um, We've all seen it before. Yeah, this is the stories, of course, about the road. You're not supposed to go down it. it used to be a cemetery. Lots of people going missing on it. Okay. I have to wait for it to say space before I can actually uh, go to the next line. <laughs> yeah, so don't be superstitious. Blah, blah, blah. We went through all of this. We know what the deal is. But, of course, the petrol station was the first area where we could actually move around and do stuff. And of course you're meant to just fill up the motorbike and then pay, I do believe. So let's just have a look around. Was there anything else that I can actually do here? Um, what happens if I just wait around for it? Oh, wallet to interact. That's the wallet. Hold on a minute. Can I talk to Ying? Oh, yes I can. I can interact with Ying. Drop your wallet back there, be more careful. Okay, so there's not much there. You don't seem to have any money on you. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'll get the wallet then. So, I pay it him. Thank you, go to your pump, fill your vehicle. Just like that. Ying, do you have anything else to say now? Go pay at the counter, I've already done that. <laughs> okay, I can interact with the gas pump now. But is there anything else? Thank you, if you pump and fill your vehicle. Okay, there's not really, I don't think, anything else for me to interact with other than just fill up the fill up the motorbike and then get a move on. I feel like there's got to be something somewhere here that I missed the first time around. A choice. Something I could have done somewhere, but... Hmm. I'm not sure. Just going to slow and be really careful. Okay, we about to go on the uh, road. Just as soon as these guys are finished nattering away. Please be careful. Yes, we know that. There was another area, wasn't there, where he drops his wallet and you go back to pick it up. See, the last time, obviously, I played, I kind of just sped through. I just did what the game told me to do and I did it fairly quickly. That's the thing. I'm wondering if maybe... Okay, here we go. Here's the spooky noises. Feel the wind getting colder, yep. Yeah. Yes, Liang is sceptical at this point, but Ying feels it. I'm wondering if maybe if I hang around for a bit. Okay, a moment later. Oh. Music. <laughs> Just briefly playing. Oh yes, and that was something. Was that the... It's when she, she, she jumps, isn't it? And for a moment he nearly loses control. Yeah. Okay, so Ying definitely says she saw something. Right. I get the feeling there's definitely something in this game. Something that I missed. Because that's the thing, I'd, if you look on the game job page, 
I don't know if it's an in-game screenshot or if it's just a piece of concept art, but there's a shot where the characters are on the bike and there's like this creepy shadow figure with yellow glowy eyes. You do see the lights ahead of us, right? That's, yeah. Okay, here we go. The spooky noises again. Seems like it's the same distance away than it was five minutes ago. We're stuck in place, or at least that's what it feels like. Let's mark a street light just to be sure we're not. Yeah, because they stop, don't they? That's right. So there's a couple of points in this game where you do stop and you can interact and move around within a kind of limited area. Okay, here we go, the old street light. Now let's see... What exactly else can we do here, if anything? <laughs> That's new! That's fucking new! I looked back. I should not have looked back. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. What happens if I do it again? Nope. Nope, it's not going to do it. Okay. Okay. So there is something in this game. It's not just showing a concept off. Oh, God. Oh, God, my heart is pounding after that. Oh. She's seen... Oh, no, that's the Chinese lantern that we saw last time. Okay, so yeah. Oh boy. You just gotta look back, everybody. What are you looking at? Looking at the strange light. She's seen it. Let's just get out of here, yeah. Oh, I was not ready for that. Oh boy. So there is, by the looks of it, an alternate outcome here. Finally, if we're off that dark road, yeah. So what did you see earlier when you squealed and almost killed us? Liang, did you not see the pert that blue-faced evil zombie man? I'm guessing his face is blue because he's devoid of oxygen because he's dead. Is that what it is? He's like a zombie, perhaps? Because the thing is, we saw them at the end of the last video. There's two of them. They were like sort of guys in sort of traditional Chinese attire, but their skin was like completely blue. Unless they're supposed to be demons, perhaps. Not sure. I think your wallet may have dropped back there. Yes, this is the... Uh, check your pocket. Yep. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ouch. Three. There we are. It's fine. We already marked that street light. All we have to do is drive there and get my wallet back. Okay, so we go back. Yes. Okay. Right, so we're heading back to the street light that we marked. Don't remember seeing it being this close to the end of the road. Please be careful. Yes. Oh boy. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Okay, so this is the second area of interactivity. And we're supposed to pick up the wallet, and then we're supposed to get out of here. Please be quick and careful, yeah. But I have a feeling that if I look back, something's going to happen. Okay, brace yourselves, everybody. This could be a jump scare. We've no idea. Huh? Hello? Go back. Hello? Uh, nothing seems to be happening. Oh, okay. Go over here. No. Just pick up the wallet. Maybe something happens if you, when, when you pick up the wallet. See, no worries, I got it. Oh god, Jesus Christ. That papercraft sound, just friggin' get back to the main road. Oh. What? Oh wait, no. Are they just gonna go, or... Oh, there with the friggin' demons. Wait, what? Oh. But I didn't really do anything different there. I just... Oh. Well, that's the end of the game, though. Hmm. So I found a jump scare, but... Not much else happened. Hmm. Is there an old, is there a bad ending? Because the thing is, there's not many opportunities in this game for, you know, for you to actually do anything differently. Huh. I see. Hmm. Okay, we'll tell you what. 
We'll make that obviously part two then of Long Road Ahead. This is definitely the last video I'll do on it. If you guys want to check it out, you know, and just explore it for yourselves just to see if there is anything else that I miss there, then um, feel free to download it from the Game Jolt uh, website. You can just find it on there easily. So yeah, so there's definitely, there definitely was at least something there that I didn't find, which was the jump scare, which I'll be honest, did get me good, that thing. <laughs> Bloody hell. So yeah, um, but I don't really know if there's anything else. I'm not sure. I get the feeling this game was designed more as kind of a showcase of a concept than anything else. Namely, obviously, the sort of particular papercraft sort of aesthetic, perhaps. But yeah, so um, hope you enjoyed then, everybody. And um, obviously, next video, we'll be doing another indie horror game. Obviously, Halloween is uh, fast approaching us. Wednesday, the 31st of October is when, uh, you know, it'll be going off. So I hope you get your, your trick and treat crank... Uh, cannot uh, speak properly this morning for some reason. Hope you get all your trick and treat, trick or treat, bloody hell, candy ready for all the kids who will be coming round. Or alternatively, you know, get a water gun so you can spray them off out of there <laughs> whenever they try bothering you at your house. So yes, well, thank you once again, everybody. There you go. If you're not doing this already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the video description, as always. And also, uh, if you're interested in seeing me react to, slash, review, slash, watch anime kind of content, go check out my General Red Propagandist channel, second channel, that is. Video, uh, link in the video description, as always. But that, thank you, everybody, and hope you all join, all join me for the next game. Bloody hell, I am fumbling my lines all of a sudden. What is going on here? Goodbye, everybody. Finish the Queen Geist. Ah, ah, I've got you now! Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Let's just plant some dynamite on your head. Oh, come on. Uh, clear, 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 clear. Ah! Shot your... Oh, no, I didn't. Blew your head off, rather. Whew! That's that monstrosity finished off. Get over there. See ya! Oh shit! No! No, no, no! Oh, fuck! I did not mean to do that. Oh, please don't tell me I have to kill him again now. Shit! Bollocks! Well, I'm officially a freaking idiot.